Hello friends. Welcome to the Indian Streamline. If you see this fighter aircraft, there is a long pointy tube coming out from the aircraft nose. Or in this passenger aircraft, you see small objects on the side of the aircraft. This instrument is known as pitot tube, which is used to measure the air speed. Let's see how it works. Let's take a metallic pipe. Inside of this pipe, some fluid is flowing. Pitot tube is used to measure the velocity of the fluid flowing inside the pipe. Let's understand its working principle. If we place a piezometric tube on a hole on the top of the pipe, we can measure the static pressure of the fluid by measuring the height to which the column of the fluid rises against the gravity. As you can see in the piezometric tube, the fluid is static compared to the fluid flowing in the pipe which is dynamic. Hence, it is termed as static pressure. If we put another piezometric tube at some distance, the height of the column will be same considering the flow to be steady and incompressible. But if we replace this pipe with a pitot tube, the fluid column will rise. This extra height is known as dynamic pressure. When fluid enters the pitot tube, the velocity of the fluid particles becomes zero and it is converted into dynamic pressure. So we get the stagnation pressure, which is the sum of the static and dynamic pressure. So stagnation pressure represents the pressure at a point where the fluid velocity has come to a complete stop. Now let's use the Bernoulli equation and derive the formula for velocity of the fluid. Let's take two points, point 1 and 2. At point 1, the velocity of the flowing fluid is V and at point 2, velocity inside the pitot tube is 0 as the flow has become stagnant here. Now since both the points are at same elevation, Z1 and Z2 gets cancelled and V2 is equal to 0, so this term is also 0. Now, if we rearrange the equation, we get the equation in this form. P2 is the stagnation pressure, where P1 is the static pressure, and V1 square by 2 into rho is the dynamic pressure. From this equation, we can get the velocity of the fluid. Using a manometer also, we can calculate the velocity of the fluid. As we can observe, the pressure in the pitot tube side is more than the other side, so it has more height in the manometer than the other side. So using the difference in the height of the manometric fluid delta H, we can calculate the pressure difference. So from this we can again derive the velocity of the fluid as under root 2 into delta H rho LG divided by rho. Delta H equal to P2 minus P1 by rho L into G where rho L is the density of the manometric fluid. In aircrafts, the pitot tube is extended from the side surfaces or on the front side. It consists of static ports to allow air to enter at, at atmospheric pressure and a pitot tube in the center. So when aircraft is moving at high speed, air from pitot tube enters at high speed and causes 
the pressure in chamber 2 to increase that is P2 which is the sum of static and dynamic pressure. This causes the diaphragm between the chambers to deform towards the static chamber as pressure in other chamber is high. This diaphragm is connected to a pressure transducer which gives the pressure difference and using this we can find the velocity of the air from the formula derived earlier. I hope you like this explanation. Kindly like and subscribe and keep looking for more videos.